Atari ST Run and Gun number 2, 25 plus top-down explore in Blast games. We are covering mostly overhead four-way scrolling games with some exceptions in this session. These are represented by Gauntlet and Alien Breed style games, with some isometric explore and blast games in the mix. If a game has four-way movement and or scrolling through multiple screens with limited adventure and puzzle solving, it fits on this list. This video will not include Berserk or Robotron style games or side-scrolling games like Turrican. It will also not include games that have shooting but more adventure or puzzle solving like Pyramax or Paradroid 90. Those game types will have their own videos coming up. Two of the games were sluggish with regular ST settings, so I went ahead and also did them with Mega STE settings. If a game is properly coded to run at no faster than 50 frames per second and updates the screen at the vertical blank, then this setting will make poorly optimized games play much better. There is slightly more narration in this part 2 than there was in part 1, but not during gameplay, so it won't be too distracting. Action Bug Hunt, a 1994 four-way course-scrolling Stoss Basic Alien Breed inspired game by Paul Vincent. Alien Blast is another machine language, smooth four-way scrolling, alien breed inspired game, this time developed by Elliptical. You have money. You have money. You have money. Ammunition. First thing, you have a key. Alien Syndrome is a 1988 Sega arcade port that seems to run smoother than I remember with these standard STE settings. Alien Thing Expert Edition is a 999 software developed 1995 Stoss game, also inspired by Alien Breed. You control a space marine in a four way smooth scrolling environment.
Bug Hunt 2 is the 1994 follow-up to Paul Vincent's Stoss-coded Action Bug Hunt. Captain Fizz meets the Blastertrons. This is a fun 1988 Psygnosis game that doesn't actually scroll, but employs a sort of distracting full screen jumping mechanism. The Chaos Engine, this 1993 released Bitmap Brothers game, is considered an Amiga classic and isn't too shabby on the STE either. Cobra 2 is a 1989 French cartoon-inspired Explore and Blast isometric game published by Laura Ciel. Crackdown is a US Gold 1989 gem of a release based on a Sega coin-op where you must run and blast and set bombs.
Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters is a 1990 Domart conversion of an Atari Games coin-op that runs a little too slow with these plain old ST settings. Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters Mega STE settings is running at 16 MHz with Mega ST settings and improves the gameplay immensely. Gauntlet STE is a Peter Pereira Blitter Scroll Improved version of the 1987 Mindscape released Atari Coin Op Classic. Gauntlet 2 is a 1988 Mindscape Atari games conversion and is considered by many to be one of the top arcade conversions on the plain old ST. Gauntlet 3 The Final Quest is a 1991 US Gold release of the third game in the Atari Games Gauntlet series, but unfortunately is a little too slow to be fun.
Gauntlet 3 Mega STE settings puts everything back right and adds the fun back to the game at a decent frame rate. Into the Eagle's Nest is a 1987 Pandora release that while employing a distracting jump scroll is a well-designed and fun shoot and explore game. Killdozers is a 1988 Landcore release surprisingly fun rolling tank blaster with a few RPG elements thrown in and a level construction kit. The Last Trooper, a 1988 Mastertronic game, is a not-quite-Metrovania isometric run blast and explore game with some tool use.
The Man from Council is a time soft game that was difficult to find information about, but is fun to play, it includes some side scrolling play also. Motor Massacre Road Raider is a 1988 gremlin released run and blast zombies and explore game that should be considered more of a classic than it is. Mystic Realm is a GFA basic game released by Start Magazine in 1990 and plays a little like Dandy or Gauntlet and is a lot of fun. Puffy Saga is a 1988 Ubisoft gauntlet-inspired game with jump scrolling that really doesn't detract from the gameplay. The samples, on the other hand, The Real Ghostbusters is a 1988 Activision release of a Data East coin-op that has no business being as fast or playing as fun as it does. No Mega ST settings needed.
SAS Combat Simulator is a 1989 Codemasters Commando clone that was left out of the vertical scrolling video because it moves horizontally. It's fast, but too difficult to be much fun. Shackled is a 1988 US gold release of a Data East coin op that doesn't look like much, got poor reviews, but one that I find very fun to play. Storm 94 is a 1994 Fugitive Freelancers developed game that is the final Stoss Alien Breed inspired game on this list, and it's quite enjoyable. Time Bandit. This 1988 microdeal game ported from the Tandy to the ST is one of the all-time most fun times blasting with a CX-40 on the ST you'll ever have. And that's it for this time. I do know that I'm forcing some of these games into categories that maybe don't 100% fit, so let me know if I missed any that I should add next time. Speaking of next time, in part 3 we'll be covering all of the best Atari ST side-scrolling blasters like Turrican. Until then, into the vertical blank.
600 